Hi, and welcome to Check the Power, where each week we take a second look back at what's happening around Thailand. My name's Tara from Disrupt, and let's get right into it. Throughout Monday, the hashtag Save Mampodam, or Save the Facebook page Queen of Spain, has been trending on Twitter. Over the last few days, the Queen, with over 3 million followers on Facebook, alleged on her page that a government official is in cahoots with a man hoarding 200 million face masks in order to sell them for over six times what it originally cost. The official in question is Pitinan Rak Iyad, an aide to the controversial Deputy Minister of Agriculture, Tamanat Prompao, who served four years in prison for conspiring to import heroin to Australia, or flour, if you believe the minister's most recent claim. On Monday, Tamanat and the businessman both denied all accusations. Tamanat admitted that his aide had dinner with the businessman, but said they did not agree to sell face masks. On Monday night, Queen of Spades deleted her Facebook. This week, people have been expressing mixed reactions regarding the death of a judge who killed himself on Saturday morning. This was Kanagan Pianchana's second suicide attempt after shooting himself in court to protest systematic injustice about five months ago. Kanagan survived his first attempt, but the Saturday, he was successful in his second try. I would like to extend my deepest condolences to the family members and loved ones of the judge. Secretary General of the disbanded Future Forward Party, Bia Bhut Sang Anokgun, wrote on Facebook. His decision to take his own life the second time is a reflection of Thailand's flawed justice system that ignores those who demand justice for others, he wrote. Biabut represents the group of people who took the judge's suicide as evidence of a broken system. Meanwhile, standing on the other side are people like Palang Bashalat Member of Parliament, Barina Kup, who said the judge got what he deserved. We have important institutions in Thailand, especially our courts, that seem to be protected by something sacred. If anyone wishes to destroy the court system, they will meet a bitter end, she wrote on Facebook Saturday afternoon. And that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining in. For more news features and videos, you can visit worldwideweb.thisrup.co. My name's Tara Kamolt-Navith, and I'll see you next time. Bye.